which specialty should I apply to? How do I demonstrate my fit for that specialty? How do I make my profile competitive for that specialty? So in this video, we'll uh, go over the top six specialties uh, that uh, IMGs and Caribbean applicants focus on and using the NRMP data and data from the Sarthi match students, uh, we will tell you some of the entry cases of uh, these uh, specialties, what works and what can you focus on. To psychiatry, this is another um, quote unquote specialty that has been quite hot and getting competitive. So let's look at the reasons. So the reasons are obvious in the data. Uh, there is a significant decline in the US IMGs and non-US IMGs fill rate. As you can see from 21% in 2016 to about 15% in 2020. So from about 21% here to 16, there is a significant decline in the match rate for IMGs. And while the scores have increased for matched applicants, so step one and CK scores have increased, uh, there is an increasing competition from the DO applicants uh, over the past five years. And the other reason is the US uh, graduates, the American uh, medical graduates, AMGs, uh, are continuing to fill the spots. So this means the overall IMG fill rate is going down. It is becoming quite competitive. So if you look here, you know, the DO match rate is increasing and likewise the AMG match rate here as well is increasing, which is leading to you know, impact on the on the US uh, and non US IMG fill rate. So what makes you a good fit for psychiatry? A couple of quirks in psychiatry that you should be aware of recent graduates, especially if you are visa seeking, um, they are looking at recent graduates. I've spoken to several uh, program directors who actually have a filter, you know, more than three years and they're not going to invite you for an interview unless you have a very strong profile otherwise. So recent graduation helps. Step three, psychiatry is another specialty that has a big focus on step three. So if you have taken step three, uh, you should have a good alignment with psychiatry. Like other specialties, electives, rotations and research, which is uh, again very powerful in psychiatry will help you. Uh, psychiatry is moving away from visa seeking applicants unless like I mentioned you are a recent graduate so if you don't need visa that's a good thing in psychiatry. Now who will find psychiatry match challenging? Let's see uh, like I said if your year of graduation is higher 5 plus it's harder to get in. You don't have step 3 unless you are a recent graduate it is going to be a problematic case for psychiatry. Research, they always look for related research in psychiatry. So try to get that. And how can you improve your profile for psychiatry? Similar, uh, like I mentioned in other specialties, uh, home country experience can be leveraged. It is very powerful. Start preparing for step three if you don't have step three and you are in your home country. Uh, Tele-rotations, some of the tele-rotations I've seen are useful or at least you get good learnings and good LORs from psychiatry, so that's good. Uh, if you are in the US, research will help you. Step 3 already mentioned. On-site rotations are very, very useful, so at least six months of on-site rotations will be helpful. That was a quick overview of uh, the primary specialties that uh, IMG's target and you know what makes a good profile, how can you improve your profile, what, you, what should you be aware of as you are looking at these specialties. Hopefully it was uh, useful to you. Let us know how we can help because uh, we work with hundreds of applicants every year. We have seen every kind of profile and uh, we can help you match. So good luck for the season.